How's it? Today we're making portfolios. I was trying to decide what Microsoft tool to use. Um, SharePoint uh, is a web, more website based, but a little bit clunky, a little bit um, more intuitive. Uh, PowerPoint is more easier to use, but I had a hard time embedding the videos and congruent. But Sway, we're going with Sway today. Uh, so what we'll do is go ahead and open Sway. And then you have a bunch of... Uh, you know templates but you know this is a tutorial so let's start with a, a blank uh, tutorial and this is like your title slide okay uh, that you will first use um, now I'm gonna just call this ICS portfolio integrated computer science uh, basically to show your work now uh, you could use a background here but I found um, the backgrounds are not the best because they're very big and take up a lot of the areas right um, so let's just say you have a background you hit add and then uh, hit the play button and you can see how that looks and notice how it, it takes up like most of the screen uh, and for a portfolio like I wish you, you could edit that um, but unfortunately it's more of like a template um, so um, I'm gonna go ahead hit details and here in your background click background I'm actually gonna trash that I'm going to just keep it for now. If you like it, you can keep it. Um, you can put a background logo. Um, I create a, you know, like an avatar. Okay, and you can put your avatar and maybe a logo or a class logo or something. And I kind of like uh, that look to it. Okay, more simplistic. Um, then you're going to keep building. And what I like, it's um, very easy to build um, your storyline um, for showing your work. So once I have that, I'm going to click out uh, to here and hit the plus button. If you were familiar with Google Sites, it's very similar to that. Um, let's say I'm going to hit like heading one. Now let's say we create a Microsoft Word doc or something. We want to display that. So I'm going to do Microsoft Word um, quiz. Okay. And then I'm going to hit add and I'm going to add an image below it. And this is where I'm going to drop my image. And I'm going to leave this as a header because um, sometimes when you put it right here, it doesn't look the best. Um, right here, notice how I have a title and then um, uh, my video. Um, that's what I'm kind of going for. And so um, I'm going to put Microsoft Word, uh, quiz, and then it says drag an image right there. So I'm going to go in and refine my Microsoft Word, drag that in to show the portfolio. And then you can do a caption. I created a multiple choice quiz with questions about me. Okay. And so again, hit play, and you can, you can kind of see the play. And notice how it has a little visual that kind of pops up. I love those visuals that you can have. Now let's say you have more than one picture for a project that you want to display. Go ahead and hit the plus sign, and then you'll see group. And then we're going to choose, you can choose slideshow. Okay, so you can slide through the pictures, comparison, grids you know like that'd be great for photographs automatic I'm gonna choose stack just to kind of show you what that looks like um, be good to first put the title um, so add cat add and I'm gonna hit text and then I'm gonna put um, Microsoft forms survey and one cool thing you can do is command a and emphasize it so it's bolded okay and I'm gonna hit plus and I'm going to hit image and then I'm going to drag my images here so for the survey we have the first survey here drag that hit image and then I'm going to go in and hit the second um, second one right like this and I'm going to make sure you click on this last one so the plus sign can go there so you can add to it okay and then I'm going to add my third survey screenshot. And now if I hit play, okay, there's my Microsoft Word quiz. And then if you see right here, it says Microsoft uh, Form Survey. 
and I can click the stack and I can go through the stack and uh, look at them as so. Okay, and then there's my caption. I'm going to go back and hit edit and um, let's do some design. Okay, so I'm going to hit design uh, on our tab here and I'm going to hit styles on the right. Um, now if you want to like I'm feeling lucky you can hit remix and it will kind of see what you got and try to create a design that you think is right if you don't like that you can hit remix and try a lot of different things now there's three uh, styles is vertical like a website horizontal okay it's going horizontally and then slides um, and this is like a PowerPoint or a Google slideshow um, I kind of like vertical because it's kind of like a website I kind of like that feel but you can decide how you want to do it um, and since I have all these white backgrounds, I'm just going to keep something simple. Um, by the way, I do recommend over in here, if you hit these arrows, like I do like this um, idea. Okay. But for my purposes, uh, I'm going to keep it simple with just black. Um, and if I want to customize, um, I can go in um, here and hit customize. And then it can tell you like what colors you want it, let's say I don't want the black I want more of a red um, or if I want like a more of a this accent okay I think that looks pretty good um, I can do that if I don't like the the font you can choose your own font uh, and choose something more professional looking because it is a portfolio and then for um, animation yeah I like animation make it all jazzy right it's not a business portfolio it's a fun class portfolio and then text size, I like to make this a little bit bigger so it's easy for people to read and for students. And then there we go. I'm done with that and it saves automatically. I'm going to hit back and then you're basically, you can hit play, kind of go through it, make sure um, it is what you want it to be. And then you can share it. Um, and again, you can auto play it as well and have it loop as an animation but I'm going to share this and you want to make sure this is can view only okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit copy and this is my link so that people can view it and this is what you would use to turn in an assignment or to um, share it with others so that they can see and again you can hit more options and you can require a password if there's sensitive things on there that you want um, but Basically, that's sway. Very simple, very easy, and you can make it look very professional looking.